Ooh, it still looks frozen on my end. Or maybe it's moving. Oh yeah, it looks like it's okay. It looks like it's a little bit better. Okay. Oh, here goes nothing. You guys can see how badly- now you guys can see how badly I've been playing. Oh, I saw it. Oh, ah, this is Jesus. Yeah, yeah, uh, I figured. All right, let's try this again. I might need to also change my loadout so I can survive a little bit better. Anyways, um, yeah, this guy has, is the admin. He's got two bodies because he can like split his mind like that. And uh, they're gonna kill Kimothy, which is the worst name ever, if I don't cooperate. And it looks like he has Kimothy. I can't tell from this art whether he has Kimothy in his jaws or not, or if that's just like robot stuff, but anyways. He's very anime boy. That was where I get my butt whooped. Oof! Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna just die next time. Yeah, this is like a half rhythm game, half shitty JRPG?
Oh, and I lost my shield. Okay, so I'm just... Yeah, okay, okay. I need to turn up the difficulty, I think. <laughs> uh, FML. Shaking my head, going on to- I've never played Rhythm games before. Or I could change my loadout too, hold on. Oh yeah, I- yeah. I have clearly never played Rhythm games before. I hate this name, Kimothy. Alright, blah 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 blah. I think the only reason I survived the first time is that the section is super slow and easy to get perfects on. the lightning ones mean yet. Alright, now for some bullshit. Okay, that was less- okay. Cause a lot easier, <laughs> Jesus. Now we can survive this. Great. Hi, <laughs> I didn't see it. It means, oh, it means it's a critical note. I see. Thanks, Grant. Yeah, I'm finally playing this game. I can only beat this dude on easy. Time to up my difficulty again. Oh no, the fox is gonna die. I 
I delet- deleted him. Am I the admin? Oh no, I'm an admin too! You're no worldling, you're a monster admin. Oh, Kimothy is running away from us. Oh no! Wait, Grot, this is too much pressure for if an actual game developer comes by to play this. Ah! That is so much pressure! Oh, oh, title credits. To be continued. Oh, I just finished the game. Oh. Well, Grant, I just I just finished the game. Yeah, continue puts me back up here. <coughs> All right. Well, that was this game. Uh. Yeah. That was neat. Thanks, Grant, for showing me this. Um. Yeah, I still want to play video games, aka there's 30 minutes before Wheel of Fortune. So, what else do I have in my library? Doopadoo. -doo. I could... I'll start Puzzle Agent, because I've been curious about what Puzzle Agent. Kickstarter in August! Neat. Uh, I have Spelunky, I have Puzzle Agent. Uh, I have Risk of Rain, but that will take a bit to download. Could play some Ori. <laughs> uh, Ori might be fun. Um, I feel like getting started on Puzzle Agent. Watch the credits! Okay, okay, I will watch the credits. <laughs> Benjamin Pracy? Okay. The music was really good. I, I enjoyed the music quite a bit. I feel like, I don't know, I feel like the plot needs a little bit more. Oh, neat! A portion of the commission is paid to the Transgender Law Center. If you can, you should donate to the Freedom Fund down there. Uh, okay, I think they're looping. Yeah. The art was pretty good, though. I, I still think Kimothy is a very bad name. Alright, I'll probably play... Well, I don't know. Maybe I'll try Spelunky. Uh, cause I don't know how that works. Um, and I'll probably die within... Welcome to play anything in my library too. Okay. Well, unfortunately, I only have your library accessible from my gaming PC. Or my gaming PC from... The PC I stole from Lab, uh, so that'll be a while. Uh, also, because Nier takes up all the available memory space on there. What was the game you were playing before where the developer stopped by? Oh, uh, that was Polybridge. Um, yeah, I played at a Polybridge, and that was that was a lot of pressure. And I was like, ah! So, um, yeah, no, nobody should watch me play their game on this stupid stream. Oh, boy, uh, too much pressure. All right, I will try to set up Polybridge. It's right now it's installing Microsoft DirectX. In the meantime, I can probably set it up so you can see my lovely face. Uh, this one, oh. if as long as I add, what's it? Video capture device, add existing built-in cam. Hello. Hello. <laughs> I don't know why Microsoft DirectX is taking a little bit of time to load. Oh, but I should put on the text overlay. Ah! Oh, Karma is non-binary. Neat. Oh. Neat. 
Neat. Oh, love me some. Oh, well, so then it was like unexpectedly underlay more like. Okay, whatever. It downloaded. Ah! All right, so now I can go back to this and then set up the game capture to capture. Doop a doo. Telltale games. Hello? Why is this not working? Oh my god. On play. All right, and then now I need to update the category. Ooh. Puzzle agent. Puzzle agent two? No, I just want puzzle agent one. There is no puzzle agent. There's only puzzle agent two. Oh, I forgot to turn on closed captions. Oops. Well, it's better late than never. Turning on the current closed captions here. Okay. And uh, yeah, let's check out this game. Can I really only select? There's no puzzle agent one. Okay, I guess we're playing puzzle agent two. And update. Grant, do you know the developer personally, or is this just like you think this is a neat game? I thought there was definitely some neat things in there about like I'm cur I'm curious what the silent sound thing is going to sound like, but um there's definitely some neat things going on in here. Alright, settings, graphic settings. Where's my potato quality? Oh okay. Um now I definitely gotta go back and Fix the uh, stream setup. Blah. All right, there we go. All right. So yeah, if you're just tuning in, um, I'm just playing random games from my library. Um, all of the streams during this time are to support, uh, what should we call it? to support the Freedom Fund Network, which is um, a bail organization for specifically aiming for queer people, so queer people in immigration detention centers and jail. Uh, I'm trying to get to $500. Uh, let me see where I'm currently at. This is the first time that I've done this. So, holy shit, we've already raised $300! Wow, you guys rock! Wow! Oh, it's because one person anonymously donated $300. Wow, okay. You guys are pretty swell. Uh... I know the person who did the beat maps. They were a CMU PhD. Neato. That is, that is pretty neato. Alright. Wow, okay. I need to increase the goal. Jesus. <laughs> All right, time to check out Puzzle Agent. I guess that's me, the Puzzle Agent. Um, what do I know about this game? Well, uh, I got this from a Telltale bundle. Um, this was before they, oh Jesus. They really, Puzzle Investigation. I am here for Puzzle Investigation. Look at me, uh, happy floor pie graduate. I got the brain puzzle. I've got a crossword puzzle. I've got a pencil. Wow, I've got like freaking backgammon. Astronomers, no, new moon. Dude, I got a freaking like Ludo piece and the maze thing. Dude, this is like, this is great. I, I would like to be part of the US Department of Puzzle Research. Eat my bubble gum. Uh, so yeah, I got this game off of a Telltale bundle. Um, I really like the term, the name Puzzle Agent. I have no idea what this game is about. Um, yeah, that that's also me. Uh, 
You gonna wake up? Oh, oh, puzzle agent, you better, you gotta wake up. Oh, it's an astronaut. Sudoku. Sudoku. <laughs> Don't you hate it when you take a nap and then the astronaut solves your crossword puzzle? And then you're shocked. Um. 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 Don't you hate it when you take a nap and then you dream? Um. That an astronaut comes in and tears up your crossword puzzle. Oh. Since then, I've been watching Crazy stream other things on Twitch. Uh, because I knew the person with the beat maps, they were a CMU PhD. That is super nifty. I'm sorry then that my stream broke, uh, and that most of it didn't actually capture. Um, but I think probably the final thing is probably the best, so, yeah. Alright, we are trying to solve the cracked crossword. Oh. Okay. We are legitimately doing some... Doing some, uh... Puzzle- puzzle agents. Some puzzly agent activities. Alright, let's piece this together. Scoggins! Scoogins! I've spent quite a bit of taxpayer dollars. I saved a lot of taxpayer dollars? Oh, jeez. How? Okay, okay. So this is like derpier Professor Layton is what I'm, I'm getting out of this. Uh, puzzle research. This is Agent Tethers. I, I think you have the wrong number. Oh, I see. A an assignment. In the field? No, no, sir, it's, it's just, it's been, yes, quite some time. Uh-huh. Erasers? The foundation of democracy? Oh, absolutely, sir. I agree, sir. Oh, yes, the White House needs its erasers, sir. I'll be on the next plane to... Wait, where? Scoogins? Scoggins. Oh, that's a G. Yeah, so this is the other thing I know about it, is that he's wearing like a little Fargo kind of style hat. That's all about all I know. Nelson Tethers is Puzzle Agent! I love the like pencil, the derpy pencil drawing. arrived in Scoggins, Minnesota. Minnesota. Population 754. Temperature mm, It's cold and not much to look at. According to the agency, there's some kind of situ in thing going on at the local eraser factory. Oh. Plant is shut down. There's Why do you call puzzle agent? Staring at me. Hopefully this won't be a big waste of time. <clears throat> Agent Tethers out. Why why does a, the eraser thing call for I have no idea where my hotel is. I might have to ask for directions. Talk to the creepy man. Oh man, I love me some point and click. Excuse me. I'm Nelson Tethers with the FBI's Department of Puzzle Research. Hello? Yes. Okay, and you are? Bjorn. Bjorn? Yes. Nice to meet you, Mr. Bjorn. Boy, those snowmobiles sure are a bumpy ride, eh? 
Yeah. Oh, my puzzle notebook. Can you give me directions to the nearest hotel? I'm having a little trouble finding my way around. You'd never get there. Roads suck too slick. Sir, I'm an agent of the FBI's Puzzle Research Division. It can't be harder than the puzzles I see every day. Not so. It's really just a, a matter of trajection. Okay, on the way to the hotel, you're going to pass two traffic lights. <laughs> this is goofy. Okay. To pass two traffic lights. Yeah, this is this is derpier uh Professor Layton. Every puzzle has an answer. directions were taking me to the hotel they did uh i'm standing in front of the hotel aren't i yeah thanks a lot welcome <laughs> i'm here to investigate an incident at the scoggins eraser factory do you know anything about it no Hotel's going to close soon. Better check in if you're sticking around. Seen any suspicious people hanging around the hotel lately? Yep. Really? Can you describe them? Skinny. Asks lots of questions. <laughs> Wears a stupid hat. Thanks for the tip. Yep. <laughs> Goodbye now. Why don't I get to inspect what I want? Discovered a fence. Boards all chewed up something terrible. Could be the work of strays trying to get to the dumpsters back there. I don't know why I'm reporting this. Oh, the gnomes. Oh, that that guy. Um. Oh, <laughs> this is taxpayer cost. Oh, interesting. Well, these are interesting. Those are Scoggins gnomes. Oh my god, it's literally Fargo. <laughs> One has gone missing. I swear I had six of them. I took a picture when I set it up, but I guess I lost it. I still have the film negative though. Ah, oh, jeez. Alright, so it's one of the red hat ones in here. Um, because we only have two green ones. Okay, so we have these two. <laughs> Yay. Negative gnomes. One of my CMUTAs also works at Twitch. 
Yeah, I'm really sorry, Grant, that I didn't get a good I didn't get a good video of it well, then. One of your gnomes has most definitely run off. Oh my, wouldn't that be something? <laughs> How's that? Oh, that's interesting. So you click it and it just gets like a help wanted. I hear that shop recently. I like that system actually. School football team. The whole team? Yeah. Wait, what? has to be this way. This guy has to be this way. There we go. Literally, literally freaking. I, I like this like point and click system. Excuse me. <laughs> one day he raided one of his coworkers' streams of riding games, ended up following her, got her to play Nocturne. That's pretty funny. Nelson Tethers. I have a reservation. Oh yeah, you're here about the eraser factory, eh? We're awfully excited to have a real FBI man in our town. I would be excited for a real Just FBI man. Yeah? Ooh, I'm gonna make some hot dish for you later. A uh, hot dish? Oh, you'll it's a casserole. Love I've never met a man who didn't love himself some hot dish. Room key puzzle. So, uh, what room am I in? Yeah, okay, I've got your room right here. Oh dear, this is so embarrassing. The night clerk wrote down your room number in code. <laughs> Mind if I have a look? I bet I can figure out what room I'm in. Uh, is this not nine? Um. Um, code. There you go, Mrs. Garrett. Oh, yeah, now I see. Okay, then. Here's your room key, FBI man. Thanks. Actually, while I have you here, do you mind if I ask you a couple questions? Real quick, I promise. Oh, yeah, of course. <laughs> How do I get to the factory from here? The FBI doesn't know where the factory is? Oh dear, our moose is cooked. <laughs> Rest assured, ma'am, the FBI just likes to confirm intelligence with <laughs> civilian knowledge of... We like to double check things. Oh, of course. Well, it's easy. I have a tourist map of our little town of Scoggins right here. You know, our Scoggins eraser is the plant that supplies the White House with all of its erasers. Mm -hmm. The president could be fixing a mistake with a Scoggins <laughs> eraser right now. 
Yes, ma'am. That's why I'm here. That and the fact that every time the Bureau made an inquiry into the situation, all we ever got back were bizarre puzzles. Oh, yeah. Well, that'll happen. This is big Minnesota mood. Do you know anything about the problem at the factory? Yeah, so tragic about the accident, huh? Accident? Oh, yeah, the foreman, Isaac Davner, they say he was killed in there. Ooh. Is that so? Well, not to be gossipy, but I heard the accident was caused by raccoons. Raccoons? Yeah, little creatures that live in the woods around the factory. Maybe you should go talk to Sheriff Bog about it, though. You should be able to catch him out by the factory right now. Okay, I'll do that. Thank you. The guy in the lobby, is he okay? Oh, that's Bo Murphy. He's always been a bit of an odd one. Yeah, he sits there all day trying to do his puzzles. He mostly keeps to himself, and I bring him some food from time to time. <laughs> big big mystery hunt mood. Starve to death if I didn't bring him something to eat. Extreme mystery hunt mood. <laughs> Thanks. Well, goodbye. Enjoy your stay. Oh, that reminds me. Do you have any gum for sale? Or know where I can buy some? Dear, we've been out of gum for quite some time. What? Haven't seen a stick in months anywhere in town. We tend to get shipments of things like that in the spring. So, no gum? Nope. Gum helps me concentrate. Are you serious? You're just gonna... You're just gonna pick gum from it. Ah, I see. Oh my god. Please, man. Please, don't don't eat just gum off the floor. Oh my god. This is literally just Professor Layton. Excuse me, you look perplexed. Puzzles. So many puzzles. Puzzles? I might be able to help you with that. Uh. Uh. This is kind of uncomfortable. This is incredibly uncomfortable. <laughs> definitely this. Hmm. Oh, I see.
you can relax a little. Not the uh, whispers. It's an acrostical enigma. Maybe it's a Baltimore trans deletion. <laughs> the whispers. This is big puzzle hut mood. Got any more puzzles you need help with? Puzzles. Brains always thinking, thinking about puzzles. I'll just check in on you later. Someone left a screwdriver in the alley beside the hotel. Looks clean. Probably of no consequence. You're not gonna pick it up? Hmm. Winner undeclared in local contest. Hmm. So this one is... Okay, so she's not Flo. So, so this person beat Flo. So one of these persons has to be Flo. One of these persons is Pat? Okay. Wait, okay, no, one- okay. So one of these two people has to be Flo. One of these three people has to be Pearl. One of these three people has to be Pat. I gotta hydrate. Ugh. Get some paper too. Wait, Grant, nobody's named Grizzly Grip. Like, Flo's move is called the Grizzly Grip. Okay. Alright, so we got A, B, C, D. Ah, uh, so we know. So we know A is less than D, okay. We know D is greater than. Flow, which is grizzly. Uh, A is less than flow grizzly. Oh, this is why you're bad at puzzles. Were you not part of CMU Puzzle Club? Okay. So we know B or C is flow. Okay, so we know A, C, or D is Pat. And we know Pearl is either A, B, or D. Okay. Um. Okay, so Flo lost to somebody. Okay, so we know that C is greater than Pearl, and we know that B is less than Pat. 
right? So I think it has to be A is less than B who is flow is less than D who is uh, Pat less than C who is Pearl. I think that's how. Yeah, so I think this one is the winner. Wait, no, C who is. Yeah. I got Pat and Pearl mixed up, but I think this is it. Ah, damn it! What? What? Is it cool if I link here or take action blog post from my stream? Yep. That's... Uh, jeez, I guess I'll take a hint. Oh! It's a bracket style? It's a bracket- Okay, that's- this is a bad puzzle, then. I thought it was a round-robin tournament. Wait, then it's definitely this person. Come on! Okay, this is a bad puzzle. That was that was a bad note to I don't I don't want to end on that note. Doug. That uh, that makes me mad. The residents of Skagen seem nice enough. Aside from one wild goose chase, everyone's been cooperative. Plus, it looks like I'm primed for all the hot dish I can eat. It remains to be seen if that's a good thing. It's a casserole. Chill out. I got a map from the hotel owner, so I'm heading over to the eraser factory. Agent Tether's out. Am I supposed to be saying that? Ooh. What if I want to go to Katanka Inn, uh, Katanka K-12 school, or get some moose ears? Ooh, looks bad. Hi, Sheriff Bob. Yeah, I'm uh, Nelson Tethers of the FBI's Department of Puzzle. Agent Tethers, good to meet you. We got a real mess here. Yes, we do. We do? Oh, yeah. It's going to be a while before we can get this factory running again. But my job is to get this factory back to making erasers. Agent Tethers, you're in a right pickle. Well, I should probably ask you some questions about the incident then. That's what I'd do if I was a big important FBI boy. <laughs> what was this incident? Well, we don't need to be dramatic. 
What happened? There was an explosion. Oh. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Big explosion. Foreman just never came home. What happened to the foreman? My notes don't have a lot of details. Well, we're still trying to figure that out. One day after work, Mr. Dabner just never came home. The accident was pretty bad. Oh, is there uh is there a body? No. Nope. He's just gone. Isaac Dabner's his name, if you don't have that in your notes. We don't even know if he died in that explosion? Won't be able to find that out till we find a way into the factory. What did your investigation turn up? Not much. I can't figure out how to get past this lock. Well, that's because it's missing a piece. I can see that just by looking at it. So it is. I guess that's why you make the big bucks. <laughs> that's right, sir. When did the accident take place? Well, I've been trying to figure that out myself. Here's what I know. Okay, so they worked from midnight to midnight. Okay. Okay, so there's... Bernie Pop is three. Bernie is eight. Um, and then Iggy is six to question mark. Um, so there's 11 hours accounted for, and then there's 13 that's not. Um... So it's one hour before the last shift started, so it's like six to some question mark. So I think Al's statement means that nobody else worked eight hours. Okay, so so the last guy could only work it's like six minus some question mark number of hours. Bernie and Iggy didn't start. Why does Iggy have to be last? Like what's weird is that it should be, if we're doing it evenly, it would be six. So there's 13 hours that aren't accounted for because Pop works three and Bernie puts eight in. So there's 13 hours not accounted for. I would say 10 is what I would go for, but I don't feel confident enough. So I'll take the hint. Okay.
All right, so suppose Iggy is 6 a.m. Then we have Al from 12 to 6. Then um, Iggy from 6 to question mark. If we, if we had Bernie be the last one, that would be... What, that would be 12 to... Four. So then six. So there's ten hours in there. And he would be the last shift, so that would be three PM. But if I this doesn't seem like enough information. Wait, okay, so let's see if Al if Iggy was 6 p.m. I think I made an, ass uh, an assumption that there are shift changeovers at midnight. We could put pop in, that's 3, so that's 12 to 9, but then that would be right. And we can't put... But wait, so we could put Al in here for some amount of time. Oh, but then Bernie and Pop. So, okay, so, so Iggy has to be 6 a.m. Okay, so it's 3 p.m. if Bernie is the last shift. If Bernie's not the last shift, then it's like... Iggy is from 6 to question mark. Bernie is from question mark to question mark plus eight and then pop has to be actually pop pop has to be the last shift which means it's nine nine p.m to midnight so then that would because then that would be uh, if he ended at 9, then that would be 9, 8 hours would be 1, 6 to 1. Is 7 hours. So it's either 8 p.m. <laughs> okay, can I eliminate this case? So 12 to 6. Yeah, because then Pop can work from 4 to 1. So this doesn't seem to disambiguate. Whether it's Pop or... I don't know why you know that Pop works the last shift. So I guess it's 8, but like... I don't- I don't know how you know that. Yeah, this- mm. Oh, because he heard the noise. Okay. Eh. If there was an explosion at that time, wouldn't the icicles on the building have been knocked off? Good point. Maybe they grew back. Well, I don't seem to be getting a lot of answers. <laughs> also don't want to end on this note. Me down at the Moonseer Diner later. I have some files related to the case that you might be able to help me with. Oh, okay, but I really think... Agent Tether, it's a pleasure working with you. You're doing a great job. We get the moose here in a... Mmm, suspicious. Hmm. Hmm, 
interesting. Out at their eraser factory, the doors to the factory are very locked. Some sort of custom-built contraption has got this place locked up tighter than Fort Knox. The device seems damaged, though. It seems to be missing a piece. All right. Well, I guess that'll be it. Tune in next time to figure out... Wow, we've cost the taxpayers quite a bit. Bye. Yep.